Hello there, so the new version of GraphPad Prism has been released. This is now version 7. If I go up to my uh, menu and go about Prism, you'll see this is version 7. This is on the uh, Apple operating system. Um, I just want to go through one of the great new features of Prism 7 um, and just show it in use. Here is a uh, an area graph or a line graph with a filled area for two data sets. You've got the data set group 1 which is represented by the solid line and group 2 which is represented by the dotted line and you can see that group 1 start high and end low and group 2 start low and end high and this is how most programs uh, would produce the graph for this. They would show the graph descending uh, with a fill and then the other group, uh, the lower group, or the second group in this case, is behind the first group so you can't really see where the overlap is. Of course you can see the dotted line but it may be nice to see where the overlap is. So what the nice people at um, GraphPad have done is they've introduced the ability to make various uh, components of your graphs opaque. Um, and change the opacity. So if you double click on any part of the graph and now show the uh, fill area and click on fill color you get this new uh, slider bar down the bottom here that wasn't in previous versions where we can make the data opaque. So I'm just going to choose 50% opacity here and press OK and now you can see the green line is opaque and you can see the yellow line coming through. Of course now green and yellow doesn't work very well together so I'm going to click on the green line and change the fill color to blue, let's say. I'll just choose the default color blue that comes with Prism. Press OK and go back and change now the opacity to 50%. And now you can see where the two lines overlap. You get this kind of purpley gray filling. This really will help when you're doing multiple lines on grass, when you're showing uh, mountain, multiple Gaussian distributions or normal distribution curves, and you'll see where the overlaps are. So it's a really great feature. There are more features in Prism 7, which I'll go through later. But for a start, that's a good one.